Okay, we're getting into some sweet, lovely territory. Territory that no longer talks about、uh, pretty pink clothing, like I know it's been、uh, for the last couple of days, weeks, maybe. <laughs> I don't know when these videos come out. But yeah, I want to go and look at some flowers and some pastel beauties. So let's dive into Bloomcore. Hello and welcome to I I Night, a safe space on the internet where I share my art, my chill gaming content, as well as things around the internet that I delight in, such as Goblin Core and Bloom Core. I'm your host I I Night, and I welcome you to my cozy channel. Now, Bloom Core, also known as Flower Core, is an aesthetic base on the theme of flowers, gardens, gardening, and nature. I'm reading this from Aesthetic Wiki. Though generally similar, Bloom Core differs from Nature Core in its focus on village greenery, emphasis on flowers, and theme of a quiet lifestyle. So I think that's why I really like Bloom Core because it's a lot of like gardens and gardenings and sweet, and it's focusing on the flowers, not on the cottage in particular. I definitely love cottage core for that reason, but it's nice to look away from the cottage and just enjoy the surrounding and the scenery for a little bit. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Wow, it's so romantic. Ah,、oh, I love this one that we stopped on. Look at that. So this is what I'm talking about. Usually, the emphasis is entirely on the cottage and what's inside it. So for a while, we're just taking a step back and just admiring the scenery around the cottage. And look at that sky. Wow, that is beautiful! Oh my goodness! Introducing you to a new set. Hey, little new car. Oh my goodness! So a lot of the images are the same from the previous one, but still, I'm so glad we got a chance to stop on this one. This one reminds me of a painting like done by Monet. Oh my goodness, the lily pads and the bow. That is all the soft pastel green. A really beautiful depiction of like a gardenscape with a water feature. That's a pond. I love it. Oh my goodness! Everything about that one. Another beautiful piece. So something I've always wanted to have one day when I grow up and own a place is creeper vines, and I've always wanted to have flowering creeper vines. Now I kind of feel like around the house I might want to have like roses, but in the front of the house I really want to have pumpkins because I always think I always thought that like when it, they finally bear fruit, it will be beautiful to see. The ripe orange fruit just like blossoming around like the base of the porch and everything. So, I'm looking forward to this. One day I'll get there. Goodness! Oh, that's lovely. I like that. Ah, that's gorgeous. This picture is just lovely. It's a field of. Flowers and the dying sun on the horizon, and again, as you can see, the very, very far, far center, there is a house right in the middle. Ooh, Sasha's life! I want to go watch later. Wow, I love that. Ooh, okay. So now we're looking at aesthetics. Yeah. So I've always found like there's a fine line between like huge blossoms on clothes and small, dainty. Patterned blooms, and I feel like bloom core as well as like vintage core and cottage core really show how different types of flower prints can affect the softness or the or the dramaticness of the clothing. And so here is a great example of like a soft print that creates like a very delicate feminine、um, look for the dress. Yeah, again, he's a wonderful example of like soft, delicate pattern print on the dress. It just looks so like dainty and feminine, and it's lovely.、And、I love how the photographer shot this model in the field of these beautiful blossoms. So lovely. Ah,、oh, 
yes, 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 yes. Oh, this one kind of reminds me of like fairy grunge a little bit as well. But I can definitely see why it's included because flowers in the background, flowers all around. Ah, oh, lovely. Yeah, I love that. Mushroom moss cake. That is so perfect! And it must taste so, so good because it's peanut butter and this chocolate inside and this blueberry sprinkled all over. And instead of like doing a traditional frosting, it's kind of clumpy like moss. And the strawberries are on sticks like mushrooms. Oh, this is a beautiful cake. I would love this cake as like a birthday cake. Oh, it's perfect. lovely oh look at that illustration the fairies just dancing their clothes look like morning glories oh, and the bees and everything oh this is lovely wow look at those roses it's just beautiful the delicate pastelness of everything oh i love it oh i want to dress I love, I love uh, pastel colors. I love the ribbing in this sweater and all the other, like the dresses and the t-shirts that are like soft and lace edge. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Beautiful. And there's a sunset brimming over the sky. And there's a small Oh my goodness, look at that. These are all definitely shot like early in the morning. Everything looks so dewy and fresh. Look at that, what a shot. It doesn't even look real, it looks like fake flowers, but you can tell it's real because it's down to the roots in the ground. Oh, so beautiful. Well, cows scare me a little bit, but I mean, these cows are behind the fence, so they're okay. It's beautiful. So I've pressed some leaves and some flowers from my parents' yard over the years, and I'm finally using them to make my own candles. That's I roll them in wax paper and then heat them up with a hairdryer, and they stick. So Whoa, I've pressed some I never thought of that. Some That's cool. That's very ah, smart. I grabbed you in time. Welcome to level two. So okay, so with that, I guess that's the last of the Bloomcore videos that I wanted to share with you. I really enjoyed it myself here. My stay here was lovely. And I can't wait to explore more aesthetics that involve nature and natural goodness and things like that. My favorite was the cake. Oh, I haven't had a cake in months because of my toothache. But yeah, oh, I'm sure that cake must have tasted so good. So delicious. Mwah. All right, until next time, may your days be magical. And I'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye.